Good morning, boys and girls. It is Wednesday. I hope that you had a really good night's sleep last night and then you're up right and early this morning, ready to work and get some of your work done. As always, boys and girlies, I want you to do your calendar and I want you to do your Bible verse and I want you to go through your God words too. That's a good way to start your day every single day. And then I want you to think about the Bible story that we read this week. Remember, it was after Jesus had um, risen from the grave and his friends were scared because they didn't know what to do. And Jesus walked through a door and found them underneath, a some of them in, a, in the room and some of them, Thomas got so scared that he got under the table and Jesus ate with them and he said, don't worry, I'm going to be with you always now since I have died and gone to heaven and gotten my new body I can be with you always now and there's a really super duper important part that's coming up in our story for next week because Jesus says I'm gonna leave you now remember they went up on that hill and Jesus they watched him go up into the sky but Jesus says I'm not leaving you alone I'm gonna send you somebody huh I wonder who that is you're going to find out next week. It's a good part of the story. I want you to retell that Bible story to one of the adults in your house or an older brother or sister too. That's a good idea too. Then of course I want you to do your journal pages for 15 minutes or more. Make sure your name looks super duper neat and some of you have been practicing your first name and your last name and I've even seen some dates on some of your papers. That's amazing. That's really, really good. You're writing that day's date so that I can see which day that you've done done that paper. That's a great, great, great idea. Now today, boys and girls, we're gonna put a paper, we've got a paper that we're gonna color, and then we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna glue it down in a certain order. It's called sequencing. It's putting things in an order. God made our world with lots and lots of things that are in order and um, that have an order to them. It helps us um, to see him in a lot of things. And this is what our paper is going to look like for today. First, you're going to write your name at the top. And like the last one that we did, you're going to put things in order one, two, three, or first, second, and third. But here's what you're going to put in order. We didn't get a lot, talk a lot about this at school, and we would have done a really fun activity with this that I'm going to tell um, your adults in your house about next week. Um, we're going to grow some seeds. But I want you to look at these pictures. I want you to color them in first. There's not a ton to color on color in on these, but there is certain things you can color. I want you to think about what the very first thing that you're going to do. After you color them, after you cut them, do the flowers come first? No. You have to do something first. You have to... Give me a second. You have to huh, water them. No, that doesn't seem quite right. Oh, you have to start with seeds. You have to have the seeds first. You're going to put the seeds down in the dirt, or there's another word for it, remember? Soil. And they got to have some sunshine. And then, after you put the seeds in the ground, then that's when you're going to water them. After you do that and you have a little bit of patience, then you're going to have some flowers grow. So I want you to glue them in order of what happens first, then second, and then third. Put them in order. After you have done that, boys and girlies, I want you to do your creation station today for 15 minutes. I've been seeing some pictures of boys and girls uh, make things out of Play-Doh. And um, I think Savannah sent me a picture of herself playing with Play-Doh. And she made some things. I couldn't tell if it was for sure was a cheeseburger for me. Or maybe cookies. They look delicious. And then I got a picture from Oliver's daddy with um inside the picture was oliver playing with kinetic sand it looked like super duper duper fun he had it in a cookie sheet and he was making something out of them that sounds like fun that's a really really good idea so whatever you want to do if you want to play with something like that or if you want to color a picture or paint or 
whatever you want to do, it's a really, really good idea. Um, last week, my grandchildren in California, you know, the oldest one, Jackson, is the one that's producing, producing these videos for us. And he's editing them and making them look good. And he and his little brother Slater and his little sister Marley and his little sister Zeta had a creation station. And they made tie-dye clothes. They made t-shirts and dresses and stretchy pants. And they looked pretty awesome when they all turned out. They just got out in the driveway and they put down a big sheet of plastic and they just tie-dyed away. It was pretty sweet. It looked great. Um, then today's daily challenge for you is I've got a link that I've sent to um, the adults in your house. Um, it's, in a, it's a link to a printable pen pal sheet. Now, adults, you do not have to use that sheet if you don't have a printer in your house. You can look at it, though, and see what's on it and make your own. And this is what I want you to do, boys and girlies. I want you to become a pen pal with somebody. That means you're going to send a picture and the different answers to some different questions that are on this sheet to a friend. And then the whole idea is that friend will write you back. And then it's your turn again. You can do something else, either write a note or draw a picture and send it back to that first friend. And then you just keep sending letters and pictures back and forth to each other and you become a pen pal. Even though you might not be using a pen, that's what we call it. So that's our your activity for today. Then today, boys and girls, as always, I want you to every day, I want you to snuggle up with a good book. I want you to move. I want you to pick up your room and your messes and make your bed. And I want you to pray for your friends and your family and your teachers. Love you. Bye.